Cabela's now takes you in the field with Purina's dog experts, Bob West and Dr. Arlie Reynolds. Bob is director of Purina's sporting dog programs, and Dr. Reynolds is a doctor of veterinary medicine and senior research scientist for Nestle Purina Pet Care. An important consideration when planning for a long, successful hunting season is foot care. And like any health concern, we want to prevent problems before they occur, and if they do occur, we want to intervene early so they don't become big problems. One of the things I like to do to prevent foot problems is to, number one, feed a good diet year-round. That's probably your best insurance. The next thing I like to do is make sure that the dog is housed in a dry environment with a fairly hard surface, at least in part of the kennel, concrete or crushed stone. And that kind of interaction with his pad will toughen the pads and get him ready for hunting. The other thing I like to do is check my dog's feet every time I come in from the field. Let me just show you how I do that. I start by just picking up the foot and looking between each of the toes to make sure that there aren't any plant-ons, that there aren't any cuts, and that there aren't any uh, little infections. Then I start at each nail bed and make sure that there's no tenderness and work my way down the nail to look for chips or cracks. It's also a good idea to keep the nails trimmed to the right length and these are just about right. You don't want them to hook over, um, but if they're too short they can become painful. Then what I do is flip the dog's foot over and I like to look in between each of the webs to make sure we don't have any splits, cracks or cuts there. And I run my finger over each surface of every pad, again looking for chips, splits, cracks or cuts. If we catch these early, it's real easy to treat them. But if they get infected, they can be a pretty persistent problem. Another thing I like to do is if I know I'm going to go to an area that has sand burrs or real sharp rocks, uh, I like to put boots on my dog's feet. And it's one of the things you'll probably have to acclimate them to before you have to use them, because if you don't, then your dog may not want to run around on them for a while. But it's real easy, just to, during some training sessions through the course of the year, put the boots on, dogs will get used to them, it won't be any big deal. Folks, taking these precautions, you're going to enjoy more days of field. And for more information on foot care and other topics, go to our website.